Hi there, my name's Samantha and today it is crappy and rainy out. That weather is going to continue this week so I thought I would do a what's in my plein air bag video. I could keep this short and sweet and tell you I have too much in my plein air bag. I weighed this this morning and it came in at a whopping 20 pounds. That's quite a bit but as I go through the bag I'm going to chat a little bit about why I go heavier with certain gear and some things you might want to consider when you're picking equipment for your plein air kit. So I'm going to start with the pack. I'll unclip my tripod and put it aside for now. But this backpack is from Mountain Equipment Co-op. I'm not sure if they have those in the States. It's a very popular outdoor equipment company here in Canada. And if I had to guess, this bag is 30 years old at least. I stole it from my husband. And what I love about it is it's really well made. It's got really heavy duty zippers, lots of attachment points to put your gear on. I attach my tripod to the outside. It has a nice, uh, good hip belt that supports the load, the weight on your hips as you hike. And it also has a chest strap to make it extra secure. And I've thought about looking at maybe a lighter day pack, um, but I haven't been able to find one that I like and why not use what you have? So yes, this is my backpack. And I will say it's a kind of a ruck sack situation, meaning there's not a lot of interior compartments for organizing gear. I tend to use travel cubes and pack that way. And I'll show you that when I open it up here in a minute. So this is the tripod that I use and it's a piece of gear that I went heavy on. Why? Because this is the base of support for my easel. This one's made by Saruri. I'm going to list all of my gear in the description and add captions where possible. But looking at this tripod, it has carbon fiber legs, which makes it light for what it is. And the ball head is heavy duty. This system's rated for 27 pounds. And what this does is gives me a lot of assurance that when I'm out painting all plein air, and suddenly the wind kicks up and maybe I have an umbrella attached or that block of paper acts like a sail in the wind, I don't have to worry about my easel toppling over. It also has a hook here that I can hang my backpack from to add extra weight and anchor the tripod to the ground. If I'm going to make a recommendation that people go as heavy as they can manage, when selecting equipment for the plein air kit, it's going to be the tripod. So let's take a look inside the backpack. I like to use storage cubes to keep everything organized. The low pro bag is my camera gear, and then I have two green cubes that I bought from the dollar store to put various items in. What I like about this system is if I want to travel light and transfer gear to a smaller bag, I just grab a cube and I'm ready to go. This first cube contains all of my small painting gear. I have a paintbrush caddy with various brushes and pencils in it. It's a must have to protect the soft bristles on my watercolor brushes. This is my collapsible water cup that I've attached a wire to to hang from my easel. My little travel size watercolor palette from Macraft Workshop filled with Daniel Smith paints. I love this little palette. I've been using it a ton lately. This is my A6 size etcher sketchbook. I like to use it to document the locations that I vlog. Fun little fact about me, I like to start my sketchbooks from the back page. Don't know why, just something I've always done. This bag has some white oil pastel and white gouache in it. I use it just in case I need to bump up those lost highlights in my watercolor paintings. I like to use washcloths instead of tissues. They don't blow away in the wind when you're painting au plein air. 
some masking tape, a random water brush. I always have some business cards on hand just in case people stop and inquire. And you can never have enough binder clips when you're out in the field. This is my super light easel made by Cup Easels here in Canada. This is another example of where I went heavy duty versus some of the lightweight travel easel options available. The top is attached with a very strong hinge so I can paint vertical or flat. It has a palette for my watercolors. The lid attaches with magnets and it comes with an Allen key to adjust the hinge. Underneath the watercolor tray is a glass surface so I can paint with oil or acrylic if I want to. I love the design, it's very well made. If you're looking for an easel, definitely check out Cup Easels. This is my big palette, I call it my Maximalist Plein Air watercolor palette. It is made by Paul Rubens and I filled it with Daniel Smith watercolors. I like it because it has really wide wells and room for mixing. I have a few of these and use them in studio as well. You can find it on Amazon. It's a great palette. I like to take two or three watercolor blocks with me when I'm painting plein air. So if one needs to dry, I can always have two paintings on the go. This is Windsor and Newton's professional watercolor paper. It is 100% cotton cold press and has a nice bright white color. It's comparable to other high-end paper like Arsh or Arches, but about half the price, so it's good value for your money. These next items are the personal things that I would need if I'm spending a day out painting en plein air, like a water bottle for drinking water or uh, mixing paint water. Inside the cube is a zip tie for making repairs, a trash bag to clean up litter or use as a rain cover, my favorite peak tap from a trip to Banff, ice walkers for winter hiking, and some snacks. I have a Leatherman multi-tool with pliers, knives, etc. I like to bring a power bank for charging my camera and cell phone batteries that drain really quickly in the winter. Some tissue. This is a pin back button with my art on it because pin back buttons are cool. Now if you aren't interested in the camera techie stuff, you may want to skip ahead, but I thought I would include it because I know there is some crossover with the plein air crowd. In the flap I have extra batteries, lens cleaner, and a filter. And then inside is my Sony ZV-1F vlog camera, a Rode video microphone, and a small rig magic arm and super clamp that I mount to my easel. This is a great little camera. It's a lot of fun to use. If you're looking for perhaps an upgrade to your iPhone, I would recommend the Sony ZV-1F. So this is everything, all the gear that was in my plein air bag. Like I said, I'll be listing everything in the description, but if you have a question about the plein air equipment that I use, or maybe you have a gear suggestion for me, please put them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.